hello my friends this is janet live video um i'll do this one quick i hope when you wake up or you, right now if you're live that's okay but i'm doing this expecting that some of you are not here now but many people have been asking me about this question when it comes to education in the united states and uh i know most of us we come with foreign credentials and we want to know how to convert that here and I think this is a very important question. So I'll start from the basics and just go quick up. Okay, so the first thing you want to consider is first things first. If you have a high school education and you've never been to college, the thing is you're probably going to start with a community college. Okay, in fact, let me start with some of you that never had any education. Okay, that is out of question. But let's say you went to high school but you did not graduate you can come here and start doing something called ged they will give you training ged is only done in the united states and they will give you something equivalent to high school education in the united states that's step number one those who went to high school but they did not graduate they did not get their high school certificate you can start with something called a ged they will give you uh, study materials when you pass, then you qualify to go to a community college and start all over again. Now, for some of you who completed high school and your grades were not so good or you've not gone to any other college and you don't think you can qualify for university, you're going to go to a community college. How? When you go there, the first thing they will ask you is your high school certificate. Don't shy off. Whether you have a C, D minus, don't shy off at least they'll give you credit for graduating okay don't worry i know some people got e okay me i just talk about everyone sorry i mean let's just be real okay your country e means maybe you have you failed you failed so bad are we on the same page but at least you finished high school you come here you give them your certificates community colleges most of them will give you an entry exam in english and math they call them placement tests they will see if you are capable of community college education if you are not they will start you with refresher courses once you complete the refresher courses okay now you want things so bad most likely probably you will have to go and go through them again and maybe after you pass then that will be okay okay once you pass those then they will give you uh, certificates. Then you can use those certificates to apply for college. So that is what's going to happen. Okay, are we on the same page? All right, so this is someone who finished high school, but they did not pass very well. They are willing to go back to school. They go to a community college. They'll give them placement tests in math and English. If you pass, good. They take you straight to school. Community college, you start taking your courses. If you don't pass those placement tests, they will help you with refresher courses and those will help you pass and then eventually join community college. Now, let's talk to some of you that had good grades. Okay, you finished high school, you had a good grade. When you go, more than likely you'll pass the placement test and you go straight to community college. You start the courses for wherever you want, whether it's engineering, not engineering, of course, we know, electrical, plumbing, wherever course that took you to the community college, nursing, all that. Okay, all right. Now, we finish that. Thank you so much. You're saying, Janet, you're doing great. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's move on. Let's move on to some of you that passed very well and now you have a university degree, foreign university degree. You didn't graduate in, in America. You have high school outside the United States and you have college education outside the United States. When you come here, okay, again, you can go directly and apply to school, university. Some school will want you, some schools will want you to evaluate your documents, which we've talked we've talked about this on this page. Okay, ECE, you know, go down here, I'll do that again. But the school will directly if they need credential evaluation. Most of the time they don't even need credential evaluation, they will just look at your transcripts and they will give you admission. Okay? Now the thing is, some of you ask me, Janet, will I get credits from a foreign university? Yes. Some schools will look at the grades you got and they compare with what they have and they will tell you, okay, we'll take about 40 credits. We will take your communication skills. We will take your math analysis. We'll take your sociology, but we will not take this because you didn't have lab here. We will take this because you had lab. You know, they will guide you. 
but yes they will credit you some of those things okay so the thing is every school is different every school is different all right now let's talk about some of you that want to do accelerated nursing programs you have a foreign degree yes they will take your credits but you still have to do prerequisites requirements for nursing in the united states let's say you had a, a degree in biology or zoology or history from a foreign education a foreign university when you come here they will respect that and they'll say okay now we need you to go and do prerequisites for nursing which are biology one and two with lab chemistry one and two and lab communication skills history and government sociology psychology amp anatomy and physiology once you fulfill those come you join the program for 15 months we'll give you a bachelor of science in nursing okay some of you you come here with your foreign degrees and you're thinking about medicine okay when you're thinking about medicine for you to be competitive quite honestly take that foreign degree go to a university ask for them to give you credits for example if you did biology at home transfer that here let them tell you what they will take okay and then enroll for biology again or take a master's degree me i would prefer that you come here even if you have your first degree in drama your first degree in wherever field you come you get admission here get a bachelor's degree from the united states plus make sure when you're doing that bachelor's degree you get the requirements for medicine which again are chemistry one and two biology one and two with lab biochemistry communication skills history and government then you do the medical exam which they call mcat same thing with pharmacy more than likely you'll go back to a community college or a university have your first degree have those common requirements again biology one and two chemistry one and two biochemistry you know physics in some cases mathematics statistics wherever the school asks you okay so what am i saying every situation is different let me summarize so i can go quick thank you so much for coming i see your comments okay for those who did not finish high school you come to america ged is only done in america you register for something called ged once you pass they will give you certificate that is equivalent to high school education that will be a pathway to a community college if you have foreign education in high school but you did not do well approach a community college do not shy off despite if you your age despite you didn't do well they will let you know what to do most likely they will give you placement test to test your abilities mostly it's english and math and writing essays if you do well they will admit you if you don't do well they will start you from refresher courses and bring you up until you qualify then you start your community college if you had a high school education and you passed very well okay you just go straight they might give you a placement test which you will pass then you start community college straight away if you have good grades you can always apply directly to university for a bachelor's degree for a master's degree for a phd some universities will require credential evaluation to see how your school operates and if actually it has its credentials or i mean it's accredited some schools have seen many students foreign students they just look at your grades and give you admission for professional courses like engineering stem pharmacy medicine okay those ones you want to make sure you have a first degree in the united states for you to get a shortcut try and see as much as possible how many courses they will take from home convert it here so you have the shortest amount of uh, period possible in the university here in america graduate have your first degree then do the professional exams if you plan for medicine do mcat okay if you plan for pharmacy do pcat okay if you want engineering same thing there are exams that will uh, you will have to do to join but remember each course in america especially professional ones they require you to have a first degree in the united states plus make sure your transcripts have all the general requirements the first step is to always go to potential universities look for the course you're looking for study the requirements and go step by step okay target one state one university and go uh, go you have your goals right okay all right janet my daughter got her visa today she's joining us janet thanks for your advice gladys i'm so happy for you 
Thank you so much for coming. Congratulations to your daughter. She's going to have a very, very good foundation. Okay? We're going to have a good foundation in the United States. Now we know. Some of you say, Janet, I'm old. Janet, uh, they do, do, does age matter? Age doesn't matter. In fact, here, yeah, I think some schools, when you're 60, 65, tuition is completely free. Okay? So age should never be a problem. All of us can go to community college. We can do a one year course we can do a two year course but what we want is university education we want community education where here in the united states okay that is our foundation that is our foundation of course i will not forget the people that are not book smart i'll not forget some of us that don't care about going school to school you can do wherever you want go find jobs that's not a problem me i'm talking to people who want to have a foundation with education okay all right Frank is watching from Kenya. Frank, I'm surprised you're awake. Eh? Okay. Gladys, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Pauline, where are you? Okay, Pauline is calling her friend. She's saying, sweetie, come on here. Ruth, thank you so much, my friends. I have to drive, but I thought I have to do this video very quick. And some of you, you're starting to do online courses here in the United States. Well and good. I hope the employers back home will like your American education online. If you come here one day, probably that will be a plus, okay? Here, still, there is debate about online education, but that is the trend for the future. They've been arguing now. I think they've just let go. Most schools now have online programs. I think you'll be a step ahead, but don't count on me, okay? So, you know, that's, that's what I have to say. That's what I have to say, my friends, okay? Now, someone is watching from Nigeria. We know we are not giving up. We still have J-1 visas. We still have visiting visas. And uh, politics is changing, okay? Uh, what do we, executive, uh, 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 executive orders expire? My friends, you have to have hope, okay? You always have to have hope. All is not lost, okay? Who is that? Ashley joined okay just join does a diploma count if you want to do a degree and join community college <sighs> bring the transcripts you see what i like about these people they are not rigid you bring what you have you go talk to a counselor they will direct you okay most than more than likely they will even give you some credits and tell you i will give you a degree you don't have to do one two three do one two three four okay okay as a registered clinic officer practicing in kenya what does it uh, what does it convert to in america clinical officers when i left home you used to do a diploma do you do degrees these days if you do a degree i think you need to come here again transfer those credits tell them to give you as much as possible so you graduate with an american degree instead of four years graduate with one or two years then put that on your credentials then you can even use that to go into medicine okay you see how it works that, that, that is the best way now if you have a diploma my friend you'll have to start with community college okay and then again ask for them to give you some credits go in there for eight months or one year graduate and then transfer every school is different but there's always a way out bring what you have look at the counselor do not be scared let tell them can you take some of these credits they'll say ah oh, no yes yes you know so and then you continue doing your research okay okay Janet, please, trying to contact you, please. It's so urgent and personal. Let me know how to reach you. Following from Dallas. Okay, welcome. Vicky, please talk about college readiness. Okay, and I'm going to come here and we talk about resumes. Because I know some people are preparing to go to Canada. And I say we need to have good, succinct. Let's not just go. Because Janet is doing videos. And then we just start doing some resumes or CVs that I substandard we are going to write a good cv go online do research when someone reads they're like wow and we are going to tailor the resume to the job we are not going to say you know when i was home i used to clean pans and I, and, I, and then the, the the resume is telling you that they want someone that cleans cars you see what i mean so you want to tailor your resume if they're asking for someone to clean cars your resume should be saying that you are cleaning cars okay 10 cars per day you have to be specific so don't go saying things that are irrelevant to the job first of all you go look at the post a job that has been posted you look what are they looking for you go and tailor your resume okay yeah 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 
private university good start okay good janet i'm watching from kenya what happens if you have a degree in nursing once in america hey nancy are you new here janetrangi.com our videos have people who've already passed and clicks now nancy make sure i always say make sure you have your nursing license some people skip internship if they have a degree in nursing they say ah, i'm so ready to go to america i have no time for internship wrong stay and get that degree no not the degree you will get but make sure you get that license in kenya because when you come here without a license you can't be it's useless you might have to do public health or other things or administration or start nursing all over again and like if you wait do internship get the nursing license there you come here straight you do the exam you go straight to work as a nurse are you understanding okay 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 someone is watching from america texas to be precise from uk okay i'm a nurse in the uk welcome come here i know maybe you like british okay do you know about housing university no i don't have to know but i'm telling you they are the same most of the, them operate almost the same way i'm from idaho janet ruth says just completed bsn and will want to talk to you privately on msn nurse practitioner i need to come and talk about nurse practitioner programs here uh-huh okay i will make a video for you even if you don't hear from me my friends i will make a video okay all right thank you so much my friends remember to keep the dream alive and have a strong desire to succeed the desire will push you over the edge the desire will make you the best you stand you fall you stand you fall you never give up you know why because you're the best look at that mother look at everyone here did you see that that girl she got a visa congratulations okay oh janet you had coronavirus enter kenya just like that i'm so sorry guys okay we have the cdc guidelines here uh, maybe i need to post we, we, there's a pdf here the president signed how here how they operate they are letting in permanent residents and uh, citizens who had traveled to china but they have specific airports where they go and screen them and make sure they are safe to join the the community guys they need to put gl uh, gloves and at least masks in the airports but let me give you hope okay let me give you hope i don't think that virus will stay in warm weather it likes winter okay or oh, you'll just be fine make sure you drink your vitamin c eat your fruits and vegetables and drink water stay strong okay yeah okay i'm doing cna which is the best move forward cna you're on the right track do you want to do nursing you can do medicine anything you want the good news here you just do anything you want you focus you'll be okay okay on my way with avant congratulations i had they take long avant adevia they brought my sister-in-law very quick as soon as she passed the exam in india she was here in six months okay yeah yeah advice on you have to read and pass adams you hey, you have to pass that will be the pathway to green card okay 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 don't worry so much but guys I, I let's pray okay let's pray let's wait have they tested anyone positive with coronavirus in kenya okay someone is watching from san francisco okay okay all right stay strong okay what you do is to stay strong put your immunity very strong you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and take vitamin c hydrate hydrate drink water all the time okay but we are hoping that this warm weather will chase away the virus you you guys come from warm weather i think the countries that are in cold weather have most problems for now sometimes sometimes me I'm, i like looking at the positive side okay uh, uh you know and i hope they are doing something to give those i was watching a plane and there were no no one was wearing a mask like really like you know wear a mask wash your hands that's oh by the way wash your hands don't shake hands just say hey 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 okay all right oh someone you can't see my eyes fred fred can't see my eyes can you see them now okay there are my eyes okay uh-huh fred okay fred there are my eyes okay my friends i love you so much for coming huh okay okay i'll see you in the next video okay thank you so much i'm, I'm trying to see if i can see some questions uh, oh you're not out which state do you live in in america i live in texas that's where i live okay yeah getting ready engine on
Okay. Okay, having a strong desire to succeed, Nancy. Congratulations. Yeah, CNA is done in USA, right? Yes, it's done here, yeah, because you have to have a uh, patient experience, okay? All right, I will see you in the next video, my friends. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.